in all my years of promoting travel, there's one phrase that I hear most from people who don't travel often. It goes, they may kidnap you out there. First of all, the countries I visited all had laws, and the residents are very afraid to get jammed up in the penal system of each country. Secondly, a lot of people who travel may have what they think are valuables that a poor country's residents would be willing to die for, but chances are they've already seen what you have, and they own one before. They are not so impressed that they are willing to risk their freedom to take yours. And third, these countries are very hard on criminals. They're tough on residents that would ruin the country's tourism industry. In the Caribbean, tourism is a major source of income, and ruining their safety reputation for a few local thugs is out of the question. These countries act very swiftly and harshly towards their citizens who are willing to break the law against tourists. Of course, you should still keep your guards up and your wits about you when you're out of the country. But with that being said, there are still some very serious neighborhoods in the Caribbean islands that you're just asking to be jacked up if you're roaming around looking like a victim. Well, today on Passport Kings, I'm gonna give you a list of the top eight Caribbean islands that you will absolutely wanna avoid if you're a nervous wreck and will stand out like a sore thumb and you plan on getting back home in one piece. But please take this list with the knowledge that many people travel to these places every year and they are fine. And also remember that if you're naive and walking through the world with no wherewithal, you may get hemmed up no matter which country, island, or state that you find yourself in. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. Passport Kings shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. Now, if this is a topic you like, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be the first thing to know when I upload new content. Number eight is Laventil, Trinidad and Tobago. Don't bother me about the pronunciation. <laughs> In recent videos, I've been talking a lot about the Trini women, but you know what comes with those beautiful faces and bodies? Hard times, daddy. And there are no more challenging times than for people who grew up in Laventil. They were born into nothing and some of this population are adamant about getting money and screwing over whoever stands in the way between them and their loot. What they feel are the ops of getting smoked at high rates on this beautiful tiny island of Trinidad and Tobago. The violence area is laser focused right outside of the capital city of Port of Spain in Laventil. Like America, most of it is gang and drug related. But also like in America, some tourists have been caught in the crossfire. In other words, find yourself a nice resort meet a few sexy chicks that take your ass back to the room if you're not. Though Tobago appears to be a lot safer than Trinidad, there is an increased risk of theft and armed assaults on both islands during holiday periods such as Carnival and Christmas. Now make sure you watch the end of this video. You might be surprised about who is number one, but also I want to tell you about the ebook that I've been working on that you could probably be one of the first people to get. Now number seven is Santo Domingo DR. I have a video from when I was in Boca Chica, Santo Domingo, and you can click the link above to watch it. We were not the victims of any crimes, but you would quickly tell that any false moves on your part could land you in a world of hurt. For the most part, people who live there are going about their day, making money to feed their families, but the scammers and professional women are quick to take advantage of a person who lets his guard down all the way. The majority of these people are not rich. As we know in America, if you take away a person's resources, they will become desperate. I would say that most people have found their niches and are living normal lives. But the Dominican Republic in general does have a high crime rate, but most of the action is in the communities and in areas that travelers hardly ever visit. Stay out of Arroyo Hondo, Naco, Gascu, Cristo Rey, and Villa Agricola. 66% of the population use or are selling drugs. Using drugs is something you do to yourself, and usually the people that are selling them drugs are pretty decent dudes just trying to make a buck. Unfortunately, and as we all know, robbery and murder usually accompanies drug dealing because people want to own the territories that they sell in. There's a lot to do and see in Santo Domingo, and if you stay where the tourists are, chances are you will never really feel the effects of a city with a high crime rate. Now number six is Port-au-Prince, Haiti. As I've discussed in my video about why Haiti and the Dominican Republic are so different, which you can catch in the card right here, Haiti has been through a lot in its history. They're going through a lot even up to this day. Resources are scarce because larger countries and international corporations are extorting this country. A lot of people in Port-au-Prince prince are desperate just to be able to live a normal life. Many in the government make it no better by doing the bidding of corrupt outside influences. But most Haitians you'll meet in Port-au-Prince will be welcoming and kind. But a lot of them are fed up and are willing to do anything to feel like they've done their absolute best with what they have to take care of their families. And that could mean running up on you. And also armed gangs have been growing since 2021 and some of them have resorted to kidnapping people for ransom. However these gangs are organized and are seeing a bigger picture 
you. And they're not really into petty stuff. Tourists with a couple of thousand dollars to spend are usually not their targets. They're going for the big cheese. But to be safe, if you want to go to Haiti, most people will suggest that you go by cruise so you can visit the little island of Labadee. That way you can say you've been to Haiti and you get the market off your bucket list. Now number seven is Kingston, Jamaica. Jamaica is a very well-known tourist location. I've made three videos from there myself. For the most part, Jamaicans are down to earth and friendly people. They work very hard to make a decent legal living and they treat the people who come to Jamaica with a lot of love, dignity, and respect. But the places that most tourists visit are pretty secure by Jamaica's government. Tourism brings a large amount of revenue to this country's economy. The resources used to protect the country's cash cow like Montego Bay, Ocho Rios, and the grill and foul mouth are in contrast to the resources they use for the less popular cities like Kingston. Many people tour Bob Marley's house, the Botanical Gardens, and Zoo, but you will really need to watch your back and belongings when the sun goes down and the tour times are finished. You could be robbed, hurt, or even killed if you run into the right group of Jamaicans hell-bent on taking what you have. However, many of my clients who have family in Jamaica, they always tell me that they had a real good time in Kingston. And chances are you will too. But if you want to sit around and get high off weed, super drunk off Jamaican rum, and go roaming the streets at night, you will get got. If you're not from the hood of your hometown, I suggest you stay in tourist areas where you will have the time of your life. Go to PassportKings.com and search for flights to Montego Bay. My site finds the cheapest deals on airplane travel that many other sites won't know about, so they won't even suggest them. We scour over 4 million search engines to make sure that you're getting the best price on the internet every time. And now number four is Basatetti, St. Kitts. Although the crime stats have been on a steady decline, St. Kitts, especially around Basatetti, is a pretty dangerous spot to plan a vacation. The stats for 2020 was 18.80, which is over a 17% decline from 2019. According to gov.uk, most visits are trouble-free. But the few who have been attacked were victims of murder, armed robbery, and sexual assault. Like in most islands, there's no reason to floss wads of money or jewelry. Your hotel safe should be your best friend, so you should pack everything in there when you're about to go out at night. And be aware if pedestrians are trying to flag you down, ignore them, because they're most likely trying to carjack you. But like I say about all islands, just be be safe and be aware of your surroundings. The number three is Nicaragua, Managua. The murder rate in Nicaragua is 13, but you won't have to worry about getting clapped because they have a more serious problem with an aggressive flesh-eating disease. Many of the archaeologists who were roaming the wilderness got ravaged from it. Nicaragua right now is also facing serious hunger problems, which the government is making a priority to tackle in 2022. And back in 2014, they just overcame a severe drought. But if you still want to try your luck and get an experience that not many other people have had just make sure you stay in a well guarded resort all right so number two is honduras honduras is a country that is plagued by crime this has been a problem for many years and it shows no sign of slowing down unfortunately the crime wave has had a negative impact on the economy and has detoured a lot of tourists from visiting this is a shame as honduras has much to offer visitors it's a beautiful country with friendly people however the high levels of crime just makes it too dangerous for many people to consider visiting. If not for random acts of violence against tourists, Honduras would be a thriving tourist destination because as far as things to see, it offers all and many more of the things that you would expect if you're visiting a beautiful Caribbean island. All right, so we're gonna just go to number one. Number one is Venezuela. Since the early 2000s, Venezuela has been one of the most dangerous countries in the world. The government has been unable to control the spiraling crime rate. And armed groups, they really operate with impunity. Murders, kidnappings, and robberies are common. And tourists are often their targets. And the situation doesn't seem to be slowing down. Back in 2013, Venezuela had the highest murder rate in the world with 79 per 100,000 people killed. That same year, there were over 16,000 reported kidnappings. And although the exact number is difficult to determine, it is estimated that 1 million Venezuelans have been victims of a violent crime. The Venezuelan government has done little to address this problem too. Hopefully they're getting better these days. But in fact, many people believe the government's corruption is one of the root causes of the crime in Venezuela. The police are corrupt and ineffective, and the justice system is just slow and inefficient. Now check it out, the videos that I'm attaching to the end screen, that's going to show you some of the better islands that you should go visit if you're willing to, or if you're ready to go to the Caribbean islands. So check that out as soon as you finish this video. Like I said in the beginning, there's crime everywhere, so 
if you really want to visit one of these Caribbean islands, don't let this list stop you from going there because chances are, if you're going to a well-established like resort or somewhere that is known for tourism, you're not going to face any of these issues. So, from me to you, what I would say to do is just get on a plane and go like a king of passports here. Peace.